things are accelerating in humanoid robotics. Real quick. Leading Chinese robotics company Unitree just released this footage of its G1 AI robot with a greatly improved walking gait. What's more, Unitree claims the improvement only took two days. On the X social media platform, Unitree said AI-driven robots must learn new actions as fast as possible. The footage also contained Unitree's quadruped, the go-to, taking a severe beating while standing on two legs. The video comes a week after Engine AI came from out of nowhere and blew the internet away with its humanoid robot's shockingly realistic gait. The Chinese robotics startup, founded just a year ago, says its SE01 robot uses advanced end-to-end -end neural networks to master smooth, human-like walking. With training, Engine AI's robot has overcome challenges like jerky steps and bent knees. It combines reinforcement and imitation learning with a custom joint system to make smooth, flexible, and human-like movements. Unitree's G1 recently became the likely holder for the longest standing long jump achieved by a humanoid robot its size. The company recently shared footage of the AI robot performing a 1.4 meter long jump, which exceeds its height. That's about the length of a standard park bench or dining table. The feat is especially impressive considering the G1's stature of 1.3 meters or 4 feet 3 inches, which is comparable to an average 6 or 7 year old child. The jumping capabilities put the G1 in the same league as Cassie by Agility Robotics, a bipedal robot that lacks a humanoid upper body. For full sized humanoids, Atlas by Boston Dynamics is likely capable of outperforming the G1 in a long jump, though no official record is available for comparison. Atlas's advanced agility and powerful leg motors suggest it could jump farther, based on its demonstrated abilities like backflips and parkour. Unitree employs a combination of simulation and real-world testing to train its robots. NVIDIA says robots can learn a year's worth of data in under an hour with the tech giant's new AI model for accelerating the mass deployment of humanoid robots. In a new paper, researchers explain how the Hover Neural Network helps robots handle diverse tasks within one system. Hover teaches robots to do things like walk, pick up objects, and move precisely without needing special training for each task. It uses a so-called policy distillation method that teaches robot skills by helping robots perform in a smooth, human-like manner. The team used Unitree's full-sized general-purpose humanoid robot, the H1, to test Hover's abilities in real-world settings. The H1 was tested on tasks requiring motion tracking like standing, walking, and balancing. The researchers say the model helped the robot handle varied tasks accurately. It demonstrated significant efficiency gains in learning speed and task adaptation. The policy distillation method enabled the H1 to transfer learned movements to new tasks without retraining. Hover, accessed through NVIDIA's Isaac platform, has 1.5 million parameters to power rapid, complex learning for robots. With Isaac's simulator tool, robots learn skills quickly by practicing thousands of movements in a virtual world. The model instantly adapts to different robots, cutting down on time and cost by skipping extra training. Hover links with vision language models to turn instructions into quick, precise movements. Companies like Agility Robotics, Figure AI Boston Dynamics, One X Technologies, Fourier, Sanctuary, Neuro Robotics, and Robot Era use the Isaac platform for their humanoid robots. In his keynote at AI Summit India, NVIDIA founder Jensen Wong broke down the company's approach to bringing AI into physical reality. That next generation of AI needs to understand the physical world. We call it physical AI. In order to create physical AI, we need three computers, and we created three computers to do so. The DGX computer, which Blackwell, for example, is, is a reference design and architecture for, to create things like DGX computers for training the model. That model needs a place to be refined. It needs a place to learn. It needs the place to apply its physical capability, its robotics capability. We call that Omniverse, a virtual world that obeys the laws of physics where robots can learn to be robots. And then when you're done with the training of it, that AI model could then run in the actual robotic system. That robotic system could be a car, it could be a robot, it could be an AV, it could be an autonomous moving robot, it could be a, a, a picking arm, uh, it could be an entire factory or an entire warehouse that's robotic. 
NVIDIA has a suite of tools specifically aimed at expediting the production of humanoids. NVIDIA says its NIM microservices can reduce robot deployment times from weeks to minutes. The Mimic Gen NIM microservice creates synthetic motion data, while the Robocasa NIM microservice makes simulation-ready environments. Osmo, NVIDIA's cloud-based service, simplifies robot training and simulation. The company says it cuts development times from months to under a week. Teleoperation, which captures human actions to train robots, can be done faster and cheaper with NVIDIA's AI and Omniverse Digital Twin tools. The software is compatible with the Apple Vision Pro, which captures human demonstrations that are simulated and expanded into large datasets for training robots. NVIDIA has been vocal about humanoid robots, investing heavily in their development and capabilities. Humanoid robotics will be as common as cars are today. You gotta imagine what a car looks like a hundred years ago on the street. What a strange instrument going down the street by itself without a horse in front of it. And so I think a hundred years from now, it's very clear. We'll have human robots everywhere. It will likely be the largest volume mechanical system the world makes. Program members get early access to foundational models in NVIDIA's project group. The project, announced earlier in 2024, uses NVIDIA's tech to teach robots how to move and interpret human language. A robotic startup could use a foundational model with their hardware as a starting point. Since the model already knows a lot, the startup can focus on teaching the robot to perform tasks that can't yet be automated. Another big NVIDIA collaborator, Fourier just shared this cheeky footage of its advanced AI robot, the GR2, in the beginning of its bodybuilding journey. In the video, the humanoid robot goes nuts with a pair of adjustable dumbbells that presumably weigh six and a half kilos or 14.3 pounds each. For a human, curling that much in each hand is relatively light, especially for regular weight trainers. For a humanoid robot, though, it's notable as it requires highly advanced strength and dexterity. While a robot weight training might seem like a farce, it has valuable applications. For example, the GR2 could assist patients performing strength training exercises for physical rehab, which is a particularly strong domain for Fourier. Founded in 2015, Shanghai-based Fourier initially focused on rehab technology. As Fourier gained a reputation for pushing boundaries, the company ventured into humanoid robotics. When Fourier introduced its first-generation humanoid, the GR1, in 2022, they leaned heavily into patient care. Fourier's rehab division offers Rehab Hub, a platform that integrates devices for walking, standing, and balance improvement, along with Metamodus Galileo, a lower-body exoskeleton system to help patients regain strength and mobility. Fourier introduced its second-generation humanoid earlier in October, emphasizing its high torque rating and 53 degrees of freedom. Its 380 newton meters of torque is enough to lift patients into wheelchairs, move furniture, and operate industrial tools. In a video posted on Fourier's website, the robot is seen performing tasks at an SAICGM facility in China. The GR1 had 300 newton meters for torque, which is sufficient for lifting its own weight, but offered much less power than the GR2. Fourier says the GR2 has 12 degrees of freedom in its hand. That's the same as NASA's Robonaut R2, which is designed for precise tasks in space. Fourier's advanced actuation system provides precise control of the robot. Each joint in the GR2 is powered by a flexible series actuator unit specifically tuned to meet its unique torque demands. According to Fourier, the system's dual encoder system doubles control accuracy so the robot can perform high-precision tasks even in challenging environments. Compared to the GR1, Fourier's latest robot actually has one less degree of freedom. Humanoid robot designs strike a balance between complexity and practicality. With the reduction, the Gen 2 robot may have gained enhancements in strength, stability, or battery efficiency. Remember to subscribe to stay hip on the latest in humanoid robotics. Leave suggestions for humanoid robots to include in future roundups in the comments.